got an issue with people pretending they like what they don't Please don't bring up my issues unless you gon' deal with your own Please don't try to pretend like you keep it real though Yeah, it's funny that you got a lot of money, but that money doesn't buy you skills though I don't care if I am on the billboards, on the killing spree, I'm about to kill more Got a chain on, you pay the mill for it. I mean, what Yo, what is going on y'all? It's your boy Vail, back with another Mobile Legends build video And today we're gonna be doing Freya now if you've seen my build videos before you already know i usually go for a lot of damage lifestyle and stuff like that especially on fighter type of characters but with freya she is totally different for me like she's really really different when it comes to playing her but i don't know if i'm just bad with her and i, I don't mean i'm not necessarily bad because i still win i still do my thing i play my role well but to me she just seems a lot weaker than a lot of the other fighters but what do you all think because i know a lot of people use her a lot of people have been asking for builds for her a lot of people have really been seeing her put in some work apparently and i see her put in work sometimes but she's just not one of those i don't know maybe alpha has risen my expectations for what a fighter should be that that might be it actually alpha's just so freaking good <laughs> it's changed my perspective a lot but I don't know because Cho or Chow, whatever his name is, he's pretty decent too. I feel like he's probably better. Um, I also feel like um, Yun Zhao. Yun Zhao is another one I feel like is definitely better than Freya. I guess those are probably the only two. It might be it might be another one that I'm missing. Oh, oh yeah, Alucard. Alucard. I think that yeah, he's a fighter. Alucard. He's um he's really he's really really good as well. He actually I believe on the um, Mobile Legends website. When it comes to, what is it, damage or something, I think he's like the number one. Like, he can get to crazy amounts of strength or something. But yeah, anyway, back to Freya, man. Yeah, I, I don't really, she's just not my favorite character to use. She feels so slow to me, and then she, she just takes so, she, she dies so easily. She's squishy. She's very much more squishy than I feel like she should be. And I don't know, maybe... I don't know what it is, man, but I had to make this build but for that reason. So I couldn't go with my four damage build because she she just kept going down too easily with when I had the four damage. So what I had to do was actually make a build, make make a normal person's build where she has a little bit of health. We got a little bit of health. We had some some movement speed on her because she was super slow for me too. Like I didn't yeah, it was just like I really had to change some things up with her, and I also looked at the um, Mobile Legends website and got a few of, a few of the perks from there because that made a lot of sense. Since a lot of the people who are the top players using her, they use some of these things that um that I actually have on my class. So yeah, I, I did some research. I played with her. I tried to see what felt right for me, and I feel like this Freya class will be a pretty good class for you to use. So a pretty good build. So. Let's get right into it, man. So the first one we have here is Tooth of Greed. Now the Tooth of Greed we already know gives you 75% physical attack, and then the um the unique gives you 25% life steal. Now obviously on a fighter type of character, I always say that the life steal is the most important thing because we don't really want to go for a bunch of health. I, like I put a health ability on or a health perk, whatever you want to call it. I put that on, but that's only to beef her up a little bit. I don't want her to be as as have them have as much health as a tank. Like that's not her role. She's supposed to get in there. She's supposed to um be the initiator, just initiate the um the butt whooping on the other team. That's that's what she's gonna be doing, man. So that that's kind of the role that I like to play with her. And I actually have to play that role with her. I don't. I can't even really finish people off like I want to with her because. I don't know, man. It, maybe it's just me. Let me know in the comment section. This is just me who's just not as good with her. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Is is are these other um, heroes better or or what do you think? But moving on to the next one here, we have to we have to increase her movement speed. This is actually the only character that I use boots on, but yeah, the boots I use is the swift boots, and that gives you 15% attack speed and 40 and 40 movement speed, not 40%. It gives you 40 movement speed. So, like I said, man, she feels very, very slow to me. So I definitely had to do something to increase her speed because I just didn't like the way she feels. Like she she felt kind of weird. And I guess it's because you have to get super close to hit opponent to hit enemies and stuff like that. But um, I, I mean, I'm yeah. Like I think I think it really is the fact that I got used to Alpha, cause Alpha like you can you can hit people from long range and stuff, even though you're a fighter fighter type of character. So yeah, I'm kind of spoiled now. Maybe that that could be the thing. But I mean, Yun Zhao, I'm still 
um, nasty with Yun Zhao too. And it's not that I'm even like just super bad with her because I'm not. I'm actually really good with her, but just in comparison to all these other heroes, yeah, it's just it's just really no comparison at all. But moving on to the next one here, we have Crazed Reaper. Now, Crazed Reaper gives you 65 physical attack. 300 health points and 20 percent attack speed now this is really good because like i said she needs health she definitely needs health because she she's kind of squishy she's kind of a squishy um fighter so the attack speed and the physical attack obviously those are go-to for me because i still want to be able to do a lot of damage to people i want to be able to do a lot of damage and i want to be able to do it fast so those are obviously go-to's but the the health on this one actually makes it it makes it even more worth it because yeah she definitely needs she needs some help when it comes to the health department so um moving on to the next one here we have blade of despair y'all already know you already know this is one of my favorites too man this is definitely one of my favorites blade of despair gives us 130 physical attack 25 percent attack speed and 10 percent critical strike now this is this is huge once you get this unlocked once you um actually equip this you you do crazy damage you do crazy 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 amounts of damage and i love that that this is like when i get this i know at that point in the game it's not really many people who can do much with me and on freya this is actually what made me change my mind about the character because when i first started playing with her at the beginning of the game she felt like really weak i just couldn't finish anybody off it was like no other fighter that i didn't feel like i could finish people off with but towards the end of the game I definitely started to see why how powerful she became and why people like to use her and stuff like that because she is a, she becomes a monster towards the end of the game but yeah so I, I should have actually made that clear like all this time I've been talking about wondering is she com comparable to the other ones I was talking about at the beginning of the game when you first start off like does she kind of like pick up pick up speed slower than everyone else i guess is what i'm wondering because yeah the um with this blade of despair and once you add all those other things on it like she becomes a total monster so yeah blade of despair y'all already know that's one of my favorite ones again man that's one of my favorite ones so yeah let's move on to the actual armor we put on her so yeah i told y'all we i had to do something different man i definitely had to do something different because I, I didn't want to get destroyed i definitely didn't want to get destroyed so i actually got this one from um the website they, they said they, they used this on alpha as well so this was one that was used on alpha and i thought about this i think they actually did have something different for her but i didn't like the one they recommended for her so i chose to go with the one that they have for alpha but um this one here is bloodthirsty king all right now bloodthirsty king gives us 1550 health points and 75 health points regeneration now this is really good this is really huge because like i said she has a hard time taking damage like i just doesn't i just don't feel like i can take a bunch of damage with her so one thing that i like to do is put this on because it makes me feel more beefy it, it gives me the confidence to challenge more things and this is when i put this on is actually when i started surviving a lot more so yeah her survival her survivability just goes up once you equip this i love this perk because honestly this is not something that i would usually use you all know that i like to go for the um attack speed and the damage that's just my play style i like to i like to do a lot of um attacking and a lot of damage and that's why head on a lot of people can't take me but the, the drawback is if you get caught and you get surrounded, more than likely you're dead. So that's why I can't put, I have to use my mind. I have to outsmart people because if I get trapped, there's absolutely nothing that I, that I can do. So I can't put myself in a position where I have the potential of being um, trapped. So yeah, it's a, this, it's a completely different type of play style. And, the, and one thing that I do want to say about builds before we get into the last one here, one thing that I have to say about builds is how you play as a person also decides what type of build you um you put on like me i don't have to put health on on my builds because i know how to avoid people and not i know how to put myself in positions where i won't i won't take as many hits if i don't want to take hits i know how to do that but some people they don't do that they don't they play where they they do take a lot of hits but they still do their job and deal a lot of damage so those are the type of people who need um armor and stuff like that and and yeah it just really comes down to the um person not only does it come down to the um character but it comes down to you as a person so you really have to learn your play style like are you a person who can perform well under pressure without taking a lot of damage or do you have to go in and get your hands dirty so i'll probably make more videos talking about the psych psychological part of actually using these builds and stuff like that let me know in the um, comment section if you want that do you want me to get into the different types of play styles the different type of 
ways that you can play the game and use certain builds if you want me to get into that stuff i'll definitely do it i'd love to do that but yeah let me know in the comments section but let's move on to the last one here the last one we have here is fallen sword now fallen sword gives us 45 physical attack 30 percent attack speed and 10 percent life steal now obviously we um going for the life steal again because like i said I, I love this on all my fighters because we need to recover that health i don't put a lot of health on them so this allows me to recover health i, I pretty much use like a bunch of life steal on everyone so well um this one and then the other one fallen sword and then um yeah the other one you, you all know which one i'm talking about tooth of greed that's the one so yeah, the life steal is a big plus for this one, and then it gives us more physical attack and attack speed. So there's not much more you could ask for on a build like this. This works really good for me. This is actually when I started enjoying her. Like I was playing around with her. I was playing with her, um, how, how I wanted to use her. I was putting different pieces on her and trying to see how that worked out. And this is what worked the best for me. I found this to be a really strong and solid build for no, no matter what I did, no matter how I played. So it, it this was, this was just great for me. So let me know in the comment section how you like it. I want you all to try it out. Let me know how you like it. Um, And yeah, that's pretty much it, man. So I'm not going to drag this video out too much. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications so you won't miss any of my content. And drop a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it and it was helpful. And yeah, like I said, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section so I know what you all think about the video and you all think about the builds and stuff like that. And I will catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace out.